so how can we sort contours according to their size or area or from left to right right to left top to bottom and bottom to top using opencv folks nitin here and this is the ai university channel in this video i am going to explain the concept of contour sorting both according to area and according to size and then we are going to see some code implementation using python's opencv module so watch this video till the end if you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century please show your love and support by liking sharing and subscribing to this video as i will feel highly motivated also now we have the ai university android app and the website which is in beta mode right now you can download the code related jupyter notebooks by enrolling to this course right here on the ai university website all the courses are offered free on this website you can access the related quizzes and the certificate of course completion like this from the ai university website once i upload all the videos and once you complete all the tutorials including final quiz so let's move on contour sorting is very useful if in case you are building image detection or image recognition related application there are two ways you can sort contours number 1 is sorting by area and number 2 sorting by spatial position sorting by area method is useful when you want to extract the large contours representing important parts of an image it is also useful in getting rid of small contours thereby reducing the potential noise on the other hand sorting by spatial position helps us in sorting characters left or right for example let's say you have numeric digits in an image then sorting by spatial position helps in sorting these numeric numbers left or right now let's see how can we implement it using opencv so let's head over to our jupyter notebook to see its implementation so as you can see here uh, we are first importing our familiar uh, cv2 and numpy modules in the next line we are reading our image using imread function giving path of the image as an argument and storing it in a variable called as image data underscore original to show you the original image then i am making a copy of our original image with the name duplicate underscore img this is just to ensure that in case of any error we should be able to reproduce our original image so we have created the copy of the image and stored it in a variable then i am creating a black image with dimensions same as our original image's dimension we are using np.0s function here to create this particular black image here arguments image data underscore original dot shape and in brackets zero and image under image data underscore original dot shape one represents dimensions of our original image then we have this number three that represents color channel you will see several opencv functions in the next set of lines which may look new to you if you are jumping directly on this video please note that you can get complete and detailed explanation of them in separate videos i have created for each one of them so try watching those videos in this playlist if you are not clear about upcoming functions so in the next line i am converting our color image to the grayscale image using cvt color function then i am doing canny edge detection using canny function of open cv next line of code shows the canny image in the next set of lines i am finding the contours of each segment i am making use of find contours function for that purpose here we are finding contours on a copy of our canny edge detected image find contours function is also covered in the previous video so you can watch that video to know more in detail about find contours link is given in the i button above next i am drawing all the contours using draw contours function we are drawing these contours on black image we created earlier then in the next line we are calculating how many contours are present in the input image so let me now run the cell so when i ran the cell i got the following output you can see that we have six shapes here a hexagon a rectangle a square 
a circle a triangle and a star now this is the uh, image output after we performed canny edge detection and these are the contours which were taken from the original image and drawn on the black image this is the way we can take a look at contours separate from objects in an image if in case we want to so that we can ensure uh, that we are drawing right contours this image shows here contours drawn on original image in blue color so let's move on so you can see uh, down below the output as number of contours detected equals to 6 okay which is the output of this particular line of code print number of contours detected right so it's rightly detected number of contours as now let's move on to the next cell uh, here we are trying to sort these objects by area size so here we are first importing our uh, regular cv2 and numpy libraries then we are reading uh, the input image as well as displaying it then in the next line we are making a copy of our original image with the name duplicate underscore image or img this is just to ensure that in case of any error we should be able to reproduce our original image so we have created the copy of the image after that we are creating a function find contour areas that can iterate through all the contours present in the contours variable created in previous cell inside this function we are creating an empty list with the name areas then we are using a for loop to go through each contour and then calculate the area of each individual contour in pixels using the function called as contour area which takes contour as an input argument then we are appending the area details in our uh, list called as areas lastly returning that uh, area list out of this function in the next set of lines we are printing the areas of all the contours prior to sorting inside print function we are passing find contour areas function with contours passed as an argument we calculated the contours in the cell above now this is being done so that we can compare both sorted and unsorted contours in the next line we are sorting the contours using function called as sorted the arguments to this function are number one contours secondly we have a function contour area which which we are passing to each object of the contour and thirdly we have an argument called as a reverse which tells the order of sorting reverse equals to true means that we are sorting uh, from larger area to the smaller one in the next set of lines we are printing the areas of all the contours after we did sorting in the next set of lines we are using for loop to go over each sorted contour and draw it over the original image and then after that show each object so now let me run the cell so when i run the cell we got the output as shown here you can see that this is the first contour highlighted in red and this contour has the largest area right now so press enter so you can see that our next contour is highlighted in red here this means that this has the second highest area this one is next this one is next one then triangle and then star so we can see that uh, we have contours highlighted one by one when we pressed enter notice how it highlighted in red color the square first then rectangle then octagon then circle then triangle and finally star as per the contour area size of the object in the image now let me close it so you can see the you can also see the output of the contour area before and the contour area after we sorted the contours let's now see how can we use sorting by spatial position to sort contours from left to right according to the size so in the next set of lines we are reading the input image as well as making a copy of it for later use so code till this point is familiar to you in the next set of lines i am defining a function return x coordinate contour which actually returns the x coordinates for the contour centroid or the center point so this function takes the contour in question as an input argument and checks if the contour area is greater than 10 
if it is then calculate the center or centroid of that contour using opencv's moment function and storing the value in the variable called as cent underscore moment and then later on returns the center point in the next set of lines we are creating a function that can place a green circle on the centers of the contours so this function's name is identify centroid and it takes two input arguments number one is input image and number two centroid in the next set of lines we are calculating the centroid coordinates such as centroid x and centroid y then in the next line we are using circle function to draw the circle at the centroid position of the contour then in the next line we are using sorted function to sort the contours from left to right this function will take input image key as return x coordinate contour to return the x coordinates of each contour and reverse parameter is set as false to sort from smallest to largest as an argument then we are using for loop to calculate the centroid and draw a circle around it on the image it will be highlighted in green color we are making use of enumerate function to enumerate the count and then placing a blue circle on the center of contours by making use of identify centroid function created earlier we are displaying all the contours having centroid in the center with the help of i am show function to go through each contour in order to lab label them uh, left to right it takes contour variable as an input argument we are making use of enumerate function to enumerate the count and then labeling the count, uh, contour from left to right according to the size so instead of showing uh, blue uh, circles we are now uh, labeling them as 1 2 3 etc majority of code is self explanatory so put text function is used to put a text label on the object you can learn more about put text function including explanation of arguments in this video link is given in the i button above so now let me run this cell so you can see that it has very well kept the blue circles at the center or the centroid of each object right so here you can see that uh, it has highlighted one object in red color and labeled it as one now press enter so you can see the next object as per the size is triangle then there is square then rectangle then circle followed by octagon so this is the way you can sort the contours from left to right according to the size. So folks, this is it for this video. Hope you learned something new today. In the next upcoming video, I will cover another important topic of the computer vision using OpenCV series. So here is today's question. State true or false. Identify centroid function took two arguments. Number one was input image and number two was contour. Please post your answers, comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.